What's going on everybody? Nick right here with Pacific Sotheby's and Asheville Realty. Coming at you today with your local market update. Let's talk real estate. What's going on out there? What's happening? Biggest thing that I've seen lately is a price increase across the board. Um, a lot of, you know, North County, San Diego, you know, some zip codes in there like Carlsbad had some really huge increases in, you know, just the median price. But overall, as far as San Diego as a whole, has seen a nice uh, increase in the median sales price year over year for the October numbers. And that really ties into what I want to discuss is buyer traffic right now is extremely high. The current numbers are just posted um, from showing time, which is something that tracks, you know, how many times buyers want to go look at a house. Uh, posted numbers of a 9% increase in buyer showing activity. The West, California, was the highest in the nation. If you're a buyer, right now is the best time for interest rates. This time last year, we were seeing you know five percent interest rates, or you know just right around there. We've dropped a whole percentage point, so we're seeing four percent, sometimes lower than that, depending on your specific uh, you know approval rating. Here's the big thing. Big takeaway is if you're a seller. You've got a house, you want to sell, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to put it off until spring because that's, you know, that's when everybody sells their house, that's when all the buyers are out, best time to do it, right? Maybe not so much. Selling your house in the springtime makes sense. I totally get it. A lot of buyers, all that. But think about it this way. Go back to your basics of your economics class um, in high school or whatever, and it's really a supply and demand type of situation that drives the market. Strong time for buyers. The numbers show we've got a huge increase in buy activity. They've got great interest rates to go purchase a place, and they're serious, especially in the winter time. The buyers that are out in the winter are serious buyers. They're out there to find the perfect house, make a great offer. They don't want to compete. They just want to get an offer in. They'll pay a little bit more because they are seriously needing to move. That's exactly what you want. Also in the winter time, there tends to be less inventory on the market. So when you sell your house, you got a bunch of serious buyers, you got less inventory, that's gonna help drive up your sales price. So maximizing sales price, maximizing your equity, winter time is really, really the best time to do it. If you wait till spring when all the other sellers are gonna put their house on the market too, what do you think is gonna happen? All those buyers that are out there are not only looking at your house, but now they're looking at your neighbor's house as well. You've got to compete, which means they've got options too. They might say, well, I'll offer them 20,000 less, 25,000 less, 100,000 less in some price points. That's a big difference. I got a great little uh, illustration here. Laugh at my artwork, but think about it this way. You've got, in the winter, you've got all these buyers looking at just your house compared to all those same buyers in the spring looking at all these other houses. Supply and demand, 9% increase in buyer activity. Here's the big takeaway. It's a great time to buy a house. It's a great time to buy a house when you're looking for a house, when you need to buy a house, when you are ready to buy a house. This time compared to last year is way better. Do we know where interest rates are gonna go next year? No clue. They're gonna stay probably right around here. Hopefully, I think they will, but we don't know. Things can change kind of at a moment's notice at times and we just have to adjust and go from there. Looking at last year versus this year, this is by far a better time to buy. You've got better buying power, you can afford more house, you can get a lower payment at this time. You're gonna save a lot of interest payment over the life of that loan. Um, as a buyer, as a seller, it is also a great time to sell because you still have equity. Prices are at an all-time you know, high point, so you've got equity. Maximize it by selling in the winter when there's more buyers out there looking at fewer homes available. That's the best way to maximize your, your equity and get a, get a good offer for your price, sometimes over asking. Big thing that I wanna tell you is that if you are thinking about selling your home in the spring, seriously call me or just connect with me. Let, let's really look at what makes sense for you. Are you waiting because the house needs a bunch of repairs? That, that could be it. But if you're waiting because you think you're gonna get a better price or that you think you'll do better in the spring, I really would say, give me a call. 
let's talk, let's chat, let's see what your specific situation looks like, and let's make that decision. So I'm here if you got questions, let's talk. Either way, I hope you're doing great. Let's go find a house, let's go sell a house. Talk to you next time.